Hi, I'm Parker Daigle. Welcome to PC Today. I'm joined today with uh, Coach Greg Neely of the men's basketball team. Thanks for being with us today, Greg. Thanks for having me. All right, Coach. So with you being the new head coach, what did you think about the season being canceled last year? I think, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity for our guys. You know, I mean, it's, it's rare that for us as a staff, we get to kind of start something from scratch, which is good a little bit. But, um, you know, it's, it's a chance for our older guys to kind of, you know, end on a high note. That's what, the first meeting we had as a group, we talked about how we want to send these guys out, as corny as it sounds, on a fairy tale ending, you know. And, and um, there aren't many people that have experienced what our returners have experienced um, with all the adverse situations they've gone through and, and you know, circumstances outside their control. Um, and, and so we want to really try to send them out on a high note. And I think that's our overriding mission this year as a program is to send those guys out the right way. And, um, you know, I, I don't want them to be remembered at their time at Piedmont as the group that was involved in a canceled season. I want them to be remembered as a group that, you know, we're able to turn this thing around in 20, 30 years from now when we're, you know, playing well and, and um, you know, really have this thing going and, and have a, a long tradition of success that those guys, you know, were, were the big foundation for that. So. Um, we, we look at it as an opportunity and a, and a chance to send, you know, our returners out on, on a high note. Good. When you interviewed for this job, did you, were you scared at first or hesitant to put your name next to the signature because of the bad reputation it had, or did you take it as a, oh, I'm going to turn this program around and make my name known? Yeah, you know, I, I think um, I, I kind of had a leg up. I was an assistant here from 2007 to 2010, so I knew what Piedmont was about. Um, you know, this is kind of home for me. Uh, my wife's from here, and my wife graduated from here. I got my master's here. So uh, I, I don't think what happened in the past really had anything to do with um, me wanting to take the job. I always thought it's a great, one of the best jobs in Division III. Uh, we've got a great administration, a great facility, a sh really strong degree. Um, you know, I mean, there's so many things already in place that are really good. So um, the season really didn't factor into it. This is a place that, you know, I've always hoped to have a chance to come back to, and, and I'm really thrilled to be back here. And, and, um, you know, our other sports are having tremendous success and having on the court and in the classroom both. And there's no reason why men's basketball can't do the same. So it's exciting for us. Um, like I said, I always hope to get back. And, and um, you know, it's just an exciting time in our program for sure. Yes, sir. How much are you expecting out of your team this year to help restore and establish the reputation of female basketball? You know, we have um, – I just think it comes down to our, our guys being really great teammates. Um, and committed to more than just us being successful on the court. You know, we talk about it a lot. I think Piedmont's a place where we can have really good success basketball-wise, and then we can also at the same time have guys that wear a Piedmont T-shirt into Walmart and act right, you know, and are going to class and have high GPAs and all those kind of things. We can do that here, and, and um, that's our expecta expectation of our guys. I just don't want to have a really good GPA and not be good basketball-wise. I don't want vice versa, us to be really good basketball-wise and not have guys that are committed to the academic process as well. So. Um, I think we can do both here. That's something that really excites us. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a journey that we're looking forward to start. And, and our guys have been great so far. Um, our returners have, have done a good job of helping our freshmen acclimate to Piedmont. And our freshmen, you know, are working their tails off and, and really adjusting to college life. So it's been a great start for us, and, and hopefully we can keep it going. Yeah. When, you, uh, when you recruited all these new guys, which I, was, I can't even imagine having a team of, what was it, 30? Oh, yeah, we're at, we're, at, we're at 24 guys right now in the program. Yeah, 24, 24 guys. When you recruited all of these guys, I know you looked at stuff other than just basketball skill and ability. What did you really look for? Well, you know, it started back, I got here at the start of April. And, um, you know, Coach Floyd, my assistant, really held things together when the previous coach resigned in January and did a lot of recruiting before that. Coach Zeke, our athletic director, helped with a lot of recruiting in there as well. Um, you know, so it's really been a team effort. And, um, but for us, it, it was about more than just basketball skill. It goes back to those things we talked about earlier. You know, we need guys that are committed to the overall mission of Piedmont, that if basketball was taken away, would still be excited to be here and, and are here for more reasons than just the game of basketball. So, um, you know, that part of it, guys that are good students. And then for us in playing the game, we want guys that are committed to being great teammates, that will make the extra pass and share the ball, that will sacrifice themselves for the betterment of our team, um, and, and who play really hard. You know, we put an effort on – we put an emphasis on effort and energy, and, and those are things that we look for as well. So, um, you know, it, uh, you, you talked about what happened last season. Um, I think that was a big plus for us in recruiting. You know, we had guys that were excited about kind of starting something from scratch, that were excited about being the part of, of trying to build a tradition. Um, we've never won a conference championship in men's basketball here at Piedmont. Um, the chance to maybe do that for the first time is something that was appealing in the recruiting process as well. So. Um, it's been a team effort for us, and, and I think we have guys that fit Piedmont 
and it's exciting. It's an exciting core for our future. Yeah, going back to what you said about conference, uh, did you guys take it as an insult being ranked last in the conference, or did you use it as a motivational tool saying, guys, we need to get up and kick it in high gear because it would be too yeah. early to start the show? Um, you know, it's funny. Coach Floyd and I, my assistant, we kind of joked before that we, we hoped we would get picked 11th last. Um, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity, you know, for us. And, um, you know, our, it's, it's fun when you don't have any expectation. We talked to our guys that um, rarely in life do you get an opportunity like this. You know, if you get picked fifth or sixth and you overachieve, you know, that's, um, you know, that, that's, a, that's a really cool thing. But rarely do you get picked dead last in something and have a chance to overachieve and, and do something special. Um, our hope is that after this year we're not really picked um, dead last, you know, any, anymore, and, and, and we won't have this opportunity again. Uh, just a quick little overview. How did the scrimmage go this past week? Yeah, I thought we played hard. We played well. Um, you know, we, we've got a long way to go basketball-wise, but our big things were, you know, how hard our guys played, are they great teammates, those kind of things. And, and we succeeded in that, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll keep improving and keep getting better. All right, Coach, I appreciate it. Yeah, no Co problem. Uh, thanks, guys, for joining us. Coming up next, we have Pat Amons with the freshman transition.